we are going to start a brand new account to show people how to play or how to start ultimate team during team of the season lots of people have got the game from ea play pro xbox game pass and all sorts and so, if you are brand new to the game, I'm going to show you best practices in the first few hours to get yourself a team good enough to play and qualify for foot champs. First of all, take your star nation. Obviously, nobody needs explaining how to do that. It's always him, isn't it? This you can ignore. It doesn't really matter. Right, kits. Obviously, we want the most expensive one. I feel like the LAFC kit is probably the most expensive. The MLS kits tend to sell well. Or the Barcelona kit should probably be nice and expensive as well because of course we just want to sell those straight away and we'll take the real madrid oh french badge might have been better i don't know right first thing you're going to want to do and this is genuinely very very important and that is going to be to just go into division rivals and unlock division rivals and the same with foot champs right go and do what i just did there and the reason why you're going to want to do that is because right now and during team of the season at the moment, EA are giving everyone free qualification points so that you don't have to play rivals. But if you back out and go back in before you look at rivals, you will absolutely miss out on those points because they won't count because you haven't unlocked rivals, right? So you have to go and see it. Then you get all of these messages, which are like the cool ones. We get quarterfinals nations pack. We get the foot XP boost, which is nice. Obviously, we're going to miss out on a lot of the season stuff this season. We get the EA Play loan pack. We get the League One team of the season bonus qualification points. It's so vital because nobody wants to go and play rivals for qualification points during team of the season. So we are now already ready to play into foot champs. Let's go and get our first store packs. We've got a 10 coin pack. We've got the quarterfinals nations pack. We get the EA Play playlist pack. 10 lone players. Oh, we could actually just... Well, it, this is now most of our team already done to qualify with. Does everybody get that pack? I don't even... If you, look, We're going to have to pretend like everybody doesn't get that pack. Right, quarterfinals, nations pack. We get a lights up, which is always nice. It's going to be another Premier League player, which is also always nice. More Premier League players, which is nice. And just more players in general. And then what we want to go and do is have a look at the... Because we've got the XP bonus here as well, because we had to have EA play for this. What have we unlocked? A coin reward, which is very nice. A draft token pack, which is also very nice. A gold pack and a lightning stadium theme. Draft token pack. Now, maybe we get a coin unlock in here. It would be quite uh, quite cool. Position modifier for free, which is nice. The draft token obviously is nice because it's the first way to just get things done. You don't really need to do it. It might be worth just going in online and quitting in the first round to just get your coin balance flowing but i don't really know the first thing i am going to do to get our coin balance flowing and the first thing that i would always recommend to people when building your club is going to the club and selling the kits and badges that you got try and pick the ones that are the most expensive we compare the price of the real madrid badge there you go real madrid badge is 5k or oh, wait a badges or oh, badges might be uh, i'll list it for three five I, th I think it is 5k badges might be glitched it's the kits that aren't so we're going to pick our first kit, which is going to be Leighton Orient away. We're going to have a look at the uh, the price of this kit. So this kit's worth about maybe 700 coins. So maybe I picked a bit of a, a bad one there. And then the Barcelona kit is going to be a much, much better kit to sell. But it looks like the Barcelona kit might be about 2,000 coins. Yeah, e easily like 2,700 coins there. Uh, and it will start our coin balance, which is quite nice. So earn one star from moments. We are going to move on to next. We just need to get this first like little batch of coins in. Um, and also earning stars is going to give us some XP as well, which is quite nice. And of course, there's a lot of really, really easy stars to earn straight away, which you can even do with whatever bronze team you've got. However, I would suggest using whatever players you've picked up already and adding them into your team just to make things a little bit easier. Bosh. And then go and do our first stars. We'll go for five, obviously, straight away. Should be nice and easy. Ways are just passes, isn't it? There we go. And ground passes, easy game, easy life. And a bit of striker. Bosh. Job done. Job done. That's three stars. We're only going to go for the five that we need for the XP. Take a shot on target. Bosh. Lovely. There you go. One successful tackle. That's the last star done. With that, what we can then do is take some coins, which is nice, and some other bronze packs, which as well is quite nice. We also get a little bit of season progress already, which gives us either Reyna 
or 585 plus players packs for the in my personal opinion if you're starting a brand new account now you don't want to take Rainer because you want to improve your team as quick as possible and getting five good players is just going to be way more helpful when trying to qualify for rivals uh, sorry qualify for champs than getting one good player uh, however, let's go back into moments because we can get the Star Gallery 3 token pack. And if you want to, you can definitely go and get the 10 and the 15 player picks, which I think we will do here as well because, again, it's just going to be two real good opportunities to get a really good player and it's tradable, which is really nice. This pack is tradable too, which is really nice. And we are going to list these players up because, of course, we don't need them. We need players that are going to help us win games to get qualified for champs. So we'll store all of this. We'll discard this, actually, because we don't need that. We'll take the coins off of that as well. And now our coin balance is thriving, which is going to really allow the, the start of the next phase, which is going to be completing as many objectives and SPCs as we can as cheap as possible to just help with building our initial squad. So a couple of bronze packs to kick off. 100 coin unlock is very nice. We're already up to 1,500 coins. We haven't even done anything yet. Another bronze pack. We get to finally afford our 10 coin pack. 48. Bless us. Why not? Blue. No, not even lights up. Never mind. That's all right. Another Premier League player is quite nice. And then we get 585 plus players pack. And we've been on the account for how long? And we've packed our first team of the season. It's only going to be one of the Turkish League team of the seasons. But we have already packed our first team of the season, which is great. We also get Rodri and Gundogan, more Premier League players. Shame this one wasn't tradable, but that is a cracking start. Next thing we're going to want to do is going to be doing the first set of SBCs that you have to do to unlock all of the SBCs, which is first exchange. I guess an objective done there as well, which is nice. And complete that. There we go. That's that one done for another jumbo bronze pack. There we go. Job done. And that, guys, unlocks us all of the SBCs, which again, you of course want to go straight in for the daily SBC. It gets you some XP, gets you a two-player upgrade pack, which is nice. And there's so many good SBCs just off the jump that you're going to be able to focus on and complete that is going to get you some really nice packs. But we will start with this SBC here, like I say, 1250 XP, which might take us, um, might take us up another line on the season progress it does it also gives us an 80 plus by five players pack which is nice it gets us another 300 coins which is nice and we've done squad building a couple of things as well another 400 coins which is quite nice in store now though we have four more packs a jumbo premium bronze pack nobody cares about now we get a two players pack which is going to be handy for some other things that we're going to do we actually got lights up out of that as well which is quite nice Oh, it's another Premier League player. That's fantastic. We get ourselves an 81 double upgrade pack. Lights up on this one. Oh, that's a duplicate. That's our first duplicate. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, who do I have? Oh, I might have been alone, the other one. And then an 80 plus by five players pack, which is a walkout. Lovely. German center back. It's Rudiger. That's a really nice player to just have in the team. Bellingham, Payet, Zaha, and Wijnaldum as well. We do want to do the marquee matchups for, for XP. We want to do the League One Premium Upgrade for XP. We want to do Team of the Season Challenge 7 for XP. League One Premium Upgrade. Is this just rare golds, isn't it? Yeah, we should be able to do this straight away, to be fair. I'm just going to keep the Premier League rare golds. Everything else can kind of go. In fact, Consa can go as well, because we've got a lot of good stuff otherwise. So that's a bit more XP. 1250 and we get an eight league one players pack which hey you just never know right you never know if this contains a team of the season player i could have bought a couple of rares that might have been a bit better but these rares are so they're just they're so easy come easy go we get a lights up off of this one spain center mid of course of course carlos soler 83 payet back again genduzi dembele and a few other players that don't really mean too much to us what we're going to go and do next to make sure we can improve our team that little bit more is go and get a few more stars. I want to get enough stars, guys, straight away because we could do some, so many of the really easy ones. We're going to get enough stars to get a 10 rare gold player pick and the 15 83 plus player pick. 
And so I'm going to go and grind those out and I'll be right back. There we go. Right. We have got our 25 stars. It didn't take too long. It gives us two player picks from the, the moments store. This one right here, rare gold player pick. And of course, you get these instantly. Now, these are tradable. And we're also going to get ourselves the 83 plus player pick, which could be really, really good for either getting us some more coins. Oh, oh, damn. The rare gold player pick is there. Oh, so is the 83. It's there five times. I didn't even realize. Oh, I can't even claim the next one until I open this one. Well, that's really nice. An 84 and DD nets us about 5,000 coins. And then the 15 star pick, which is an 83 plus. Well, we get only an 85 out of that. But again, it's going to get us about 8,000 coins. Oh, this one's untradeable. Never mind. That's just Gerard Moreno in. Next thing we're going to do is go and do the marquee matchups and the other XP challenge to get that XP and get those packs as well. So 74 rate squad, three leagues, 14 chemistry only. Let's put some bronzes in. 79 it shall be. Nice. That's that one done. Only had to spend a little bit of coins and we get a jumbo gold pack for that as well, which is going to make those coins back, which is real nice. Obviously, it would be great if we could pack a team of the season. We can't. We will take those coins back off of this, though. There you go. Using those silvers. That's a little bit more XP taken, which is quite nice. And another pack, which is quite nice. A premium Electrum Players pack, which hopefully, again, we can pack a team of the season out of. We can't. We do get a rare gold. We will keep both Lopez, Ginter, and Yerai because they're nice and high rated for the next place that we've got to go to. We will still sell everything we've got here, though, guys. And you definitely want to do this. Everything that comes tradable, if you don't think you're going to use it in an SBC, just sell it, build that, that coin balance up. It's going to come in real handy uh, when it comes to, like, even just buying your first team of the season for, like, 10, 12, 15,000 coins. Yeah. It's really easy to achieve that many coins in the game this year. So uh, we're definitely going to want to just be selling everything. Now, you can go and finish off both of these if you want. A small prime gold players pack, a prime election players pack, and uh, overall you get... A mega pack it will be worth it we will do it but first of all i want to complete team of the season challenge seven because i want to get this xp as well we need an 80 rated squad with 27 chemistry there we go it's van berg in you go brother and that's our eight league one players pack which gets us some more xp and another pack to hopefully pack another team of the season nope we don't even get lights up in this one that's bad we get a couple of dupes which we're going to hold on to for now in terms of objectives that does do some season progress for us. Gets a premium gold pack and this here. But what we want before we build our team, guys, before we actually build our team, we really need to get the XP to unlock the Pyatt level. We're not going to take Pyatt. We're going to take the 85 by 10. We need 2,850 XP. Where are we getting that from? Well, playing one game and scoring a goal will give us 130. Scoring seven goals in squad battles will give us 1,250. And then playing seven in champs will give us the remaining XP. Is there nothing else I can do other than playing games? All right, let's go and do the um the squad battles game first and score seven goals. All right, guys. So at the end of this game, I scored 14 goals. I got as many objectives done as I could for the objectives that I was working on. Of course, in today's video, which is how to start my team, team of the season edition... This isn't one that I would usually do at the start of the game where I'd be like, make sure you score as many goals as you can, make sure you get the finesse goals in and the volleys and things, because all of those little things that you usually really rely on at the start of the game, you don't rely on at this stage in FIFA. This is more about just getting the objectives done to get the packs and the players that are relevant instead of getting every tiny little thing done to get everything. So we picked up another 1,330 XP. We got the key assistance and the goal master, which gets us another couple of packs, which of course is nice and gets us a little bit on our way to Triore, which again, is quite nice. We also completed daily objectives, which gives us another 50 XP. And in season progress, that now gives us another small prime gold players pack. Of course, I needed a few coins and I needed, I need some French league players basically. So with 1,470 XP away, I need to win eight games in any foot game mode to get the 2,000 XP. That's actually going to be the objective. What milestones have we completed? So we've got ourselves an 86 rated player, which is going to help for a big SBC, um, which will help us hopefully get some more French League players as well. We've sold 15 items for up to 6,000 coins. The kit sold, and all of these players are selling for like five, 600 coins as well, which is nice. We haven't even sold in DD yet. The Real Madrid badge did not sell, and the LAFC kit did not sell either. We'll just quick sell that one. And we also completed seven more 
objectives some stadium items which i'm just going to leave there because these offer absolutely nothing i know it's going to look quite a pain um and we've also done player squad battles match for a bronze pack so let's go and open those packs guys let's open our small packs guys see if we can get anything nice out of these french league players of course would be very helpful there's a thousand coin unlock we'll be able to buy the french league players now but i'm actually thinking i don't want the french league players i'm thinking we're going to look now to build into our foot champs qualifiers team the reason why we're going to look to build into that straight away is because we're going to get our seven wins against a friend we're going to add someone you guys probably have friends anyway so you can go and get those seven wins done quick or if you're looking to get even more xp the 15 games overall as well oh shadow chem style love that um yeah we're gonna go and get our seven wins our seven wins done as quick as possible get that xp get that a5 by 10 and then finalize our team so we're going to build the best team that we could possibly build right now um just so that we've got at least a, a competent team together after this small prime goal players pack this could be a good one it's lights up it's not very good at all it's hoiberg only all right guys so i played against a friend my friend gave me the seven wins needed you guys should and could do exactly the same so credit to bluebird for giving me the seven wins and that has not only given us a 2000 XP, but it's also done a whole bunch of objectives and other things that, again, we're not focused on too, too much. I know I could have done a lot more in milestones in terms of scoring goals. I could have easily used a silver team and got some silver objectives for like a 5k pack or a 25k pack. But the other thing that we got is now 16,000 coins because we were getting the coin unlocks off the back of every single one. So we did stadium development, which again, we're not going to uh, focus on or open. We've got first own success for a gold pack. And we've got foundation objectives. Build 15 chemistry done. Squad building for a few bits. And these are the things, like I said, that in normal start of the year, how to start FIFA, these would be vital, vital to your progression. This time around, they just don't really matter at all. Unless it's a, a coin unlock, it just doesn't matter. What we did get done, however was this right here six more games played to get 2000 more xp but i don't know what 2000 more xp would do for us an 80 plus rare gold player what we have got is the 85 by 10 which of course is just massive when you're starting a brand new account which is why doing things for a silver pack or doing things for 300 coins or a customization pack or an anchor chem style just have almost no value whereas doing things in season objectives and collecting those players have massive value because it will genuinely improve your squad worst case scenario here we're going to get some players to do an sbc that will help our squad out best case scenario we pack some blues let's go come on ea senegal center mid from adana it is and i don't mind getting him to be fair there could be some other cards in here as well Oof. oh my days Terstegen, Kimmich, Team of the Season and Dai, Ruben Dish, Manyan, Thiago, Jordi Alba, Busquets. There's Barcelona players coming in clutch. Jorginho and another Gerard Moreno. Let's have a look at what SBC I could do that would help the, the team right now. There we go. So that is Team of the Season, Sergio Oliveira done. And that is another Team of the Season in the bag. And more importantly, another Turkish League Team of the Season. And that's important because we're going to start building some chemistry into these players right now we now care about that uh turkish league sbc pack because with this which is another 83 rated with an 85 rated player we are going to be able to get another player hopefully not a duplicate there we go and that just using the fodder that we got gives us another team of the season card and we've still got some fodder left as well We've got 6,000 coins in the bag. All we need here is just not a duplicate from the Turkish League. I swear. I know there's not many of them. But I'd be devastated if we got a du duplicate here. Give us a non-dupe. It's a duplicate. I can't. It's pain. It's pain. It's actual pain. It's actual pain. That's the perfect rating, that is. There we go. So we get mixed players pack off the back of this, which is quite nice. And we get, we get to save our main guy which is nice to uh to save and die man just they could have just given me anybody else anybody else i would have been so happy 
mixed players pack comes in again guys make sure you sell everything that's tradable all of this goes up to the trade pile and gets sold you know there's a good like four thousand three thousand coins there you do not want to just be wasting that sort of uh that sort of coinage yeah we could do a couple player picks Let, let's see let's see what we've got for player picks i actually don't have that many golds i think we might be able to do like three perhaps well we're not even gonna be able to do three we're gonna be able to do one we'll do we'll do two we'll do two all right let's submit this in I do have some goals in the transfer list now that I can bring back down. And God, I didn't sell them. See, guys, you shouldn't sell everything all the time. Oh, dear. We only got an 81 Akanji out of that. Still, it's going to be quite helpful. Let's see if we can get a big rated player here. Jaden Sancho 84 is quite nice. Markovsky, there you go, brother. All right, that's that done. Small Electrum Players pack for that as well. And we get to save Sancho, which is nice because he is going to be usable. And that is Mavadidi in there for us. Let's go and open that pack. Small Electrum. Nothing doing there. We'll store this in the club now because player picks, obviously. That's why they were selling so quick for 600, wasn't it? Let's have a look at the squad now. We'll take Nord in. Now, obviously, what we'll do is we'll sub out the silver. That gets him full chem, him full chem. Rongier on two. And this basically, guys, is the end of the video, right? We have got within, I want to say, two hours, maybe even less than, yeah, less than two hours. We have managed to pick up four team of the seasons, including that unfortunate duplicate. We've got two lone team of the seasons on 99 games. We've got 21 chemistry out of 33. I would make a sub quite quickly for Oyazabal or Osimen for Nordin. The reason why we've got this team specifically is because now when you play champs and go and get qualified, you are covering off the Hamari Triari objective, which will give you another team of the season instead of Rongier. You are also covering off Nathan Redmond, who will go in at that right wing spot as an English right wing. And you will therefore have, after you finish your qualifiers, you'll also do foot champs playoffs and get some objectives here, which will help even more with season progress. But effectively, after you've done your qualifiers and maybe one or two games of champs, if you have, if you can't get the wins that you require, or you could just go and do it in squad battles, this is the team you would have. So you'd obviously get some more chemistry by putting a Super League manager in. It would get Nathan, an English Super League manager would get Sancho on more chemistry and Redmond would be on full chemistry, and Mavadidi would go up to two chemistry as well. So all the English players would be on two or three. The right back would be the only player that doesn't really have chemistry, but he's good enough to compete. And you'd then take this team into foot champs, get six or nine wins, and that is how you start FIFA Ultimate Team during Team of the Season. In less than two hours, we have already got an incredible, usable impactful effective team that will help us get probably not quite our exact win rate that we would like to like i feel like if i took this team right here into champs i'd probably get nine wins but it is definitely more than sufficient to start you off in champs and rivals and get your account going that will be the end of the video guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time i'm out peace nice, nice.